And guys, we are back again, 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 again. I'm Baron J67. I'm T Jones, man. What is going and on? And this is Adventures of the Black Nerds, Bruh. powered by Tone Deaf Network and all the crazy hub. forms, the hub, <laughs> all crazy forms and fashions all over the universe and galaxy. And of course, man. Of I course. feel super strong and powerful. Powerful, yeah, powerful, we, Robin. We had a, we had a session <laughs> last. <laughs> we had a session last night, man. I'm still feeling it, <laughs> bro. I was just about to ask that you want to get on after this. Uh, Probably not, because Destiny oh. rules my life right now. Oh. <laughs> well, give me the update. What's going on in Destiny right now? Let's All get right. that off. Not line. much. They they just uh put in the two week Halloween event. It's called uh, Festival of the Lost. Um, it it's it actually you can actually get stuff from this so like you can get gun you though know, they have like a gun it's called the horror origin or whatever it's it's like a play horror? horror the horror origin horror i think oh, that's okay. what it's called something like that but anyway it's the origin story from destiny one it's just reskin and given to you at 600 light so it forces you hey oh that's a 600 light weapon let's go get it uh other than that man ain't really much uh it's the it's the the first week it there's six ascendant challenges in the game or Mm -hmm. in forsaken so those books no what it what it is is every week there's a curse on the dreaming city and every week you have to do an ascendant challenge. From doing the ascendant challenge, you get obviously gear from the city and weapons and whatnot. Uh, and um, it records your your triumph book records every one that you do you did. Okay. So this is the uh, we've restarted it. This is the first challenge now. We started it all over now. The first challenge, all over. So it's pretty cool, man. Um, Ain't really like I say, ain't nothing much changed from Forsaken dropped out other Does than it, the, the release of of Festival of the Lost. So, do you think this will carry? Because where are we at? We're at year two with uh, Destiny Two, yes, right? This is year two. Do, how far do you think Destiny Two will go? Um, do you think it'll carry on like De- D One did for the full three to three I, plus years? I think they've they've really hit a a a, a high traje- trajectory with um. With Forsaken, um, this mm. is the best Destiny has ever felt, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, from a Crucible standpoint, from a content standpoint, um, it there's a reason for you to play. Like, if you're a Destiny fan, like a true, try-hard Destiny 1% Super fan, sweaties. yeah, this is, this is where you the would sweaties. want Destiny to feel. And that's exactly what it is. I'm talking about <laughs> I'm talking about from crucible high crucible rewards, multiple high crucible rewards. The raid, they just announced that they're not going to bring the, a prestige mode, which I am cool with because I still haven't even done the regular mode. So it's like, you know, they 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 said literally we gave you all the raid as what it is. Face value, this is it. Uh, we're not going to put out a prestige mode because this is his, it, I mean, this is the most high intense raid yet to date because it's more interactions. There's seven interactions, highest ever, and you have to talk. All the other raids you could do without talking. Once you once you guys got comfortable, everybody knew their role, whatever. This raid, if you don't have a mic, there's just nothing you can do there unless you use emotes. But that's still a form of communication. So gotcha. it's pretty cool, man. I think that it will. I think as long as they keep up with this content, this this mass r- rush of content like Iron Banners this week. Like it's, I, it's, I, I love me some Iron Banner. It's Iron Banner. It's Festival of the, of the Loss. And it's your ascendant challenge and all that shit. Now, if you've done it already and you've already hit 600, then you're not really worried about Iron Banner. The only reason why I'm worried about Iron Banner is because there's triumphs in the book that you play with a full set of Iron Banner gear, stuff like that, that you want to complete. And I know I want to complete it. So it's like you might as well give it your all on. And then if you got all three characters, you got to do it on all three characters. So 
It's pretty cool. I think they're in the right direction. I'm happy for them. Proud of them. I just... Hopefully, they keep up with this mass rush of content. There is no drought type period. So, we'll see. Okay. Are and you, you, know, you uh, ever plan on... Well, that's kind of an irrelevant question because Red Dead comes out next... Uh, was it next yeah. week? Yeah. Yeah. I was about to... <laughs> so. Hey, I'm, let me tell y'all. Okay. So, for me, when a game grabs me, I'm there for 100 hours before I touch anything else. Mm-hmm. When it really, But it takes something special. Like Monster Hunter was that game, yeah. For me, now only reason I put it down is because I hit that point of I have a lot of the weapons I wanted, mm-hmm. I have a lot of the gear I always wanted. Only thing I didn't have was the uh, uh the gems, a lot of the jewels and uh decorations. I mean that I wanted to make my armor better. Uh-huh. So that was the only thing missing. But the time frame that it took to farm to get those things, it started to hit that that steady drag period. And then they brought out monsters that um, started kicking my ass to a level where the game wasn't fun no more. <laughs> See, that, um, I enjoy that type of sh- I enjoy I, that. I don't have time for it. Exactly. That that's serious. Like you see how much I make videos. But I mean, that's, hell, in the last that's, two weeks, I did eight videos. That's why division got destroyed for me oh for me too oh, yeah that's what i was a diehard division person we were on it we had our whole friend list yeah running through the dark zone mm-hmm. but what happened was the 1.01 came out update i'll never forget it and it changed the time frame it took to farm so what i could do in two hours now took six mm-hmm. that's literally what the, changed the game and it changed it in a way that broke it for the everyday dad yeah, like, I can only it, play a I max only play four, four hours. hours a day. And that's so. with me losing sleep. If yeah. I'm playing four hours on a work day, that means I'm going to bed at midnight. <laughs> like midnight. Like you like, Yeah, oh, that's man. I'm losing sleep. That, like, and that, and that, it's funny. It's funny like maximizing all your time. Because yeah. You, it literally is, all right, I go home. I ain't showering right now. I'm yeah. A, <laughs> I'm a yeah. shower when I'm done. I'm not Bro. eating. Like last night after I got off with you. I, I didn't eat either, bro. I didn't eat. I didn't eat neither. I laid down and I was like, "Oh shit, bounties!" Got right back up, turned the Ooh. PlayStation on, grabbed the bounties. It was freezing. <laughs> I was Ooh, you see, I'm rocking the hoodie right now. <laughs> um, hey man, no, it's real. Like my time sink. That's why I'm so thankful for handhelds and like I got the Nintendo Switch, mm-hmm. and it's scratching my tactical turn-based. Uh, Itch. Okay. You know me. I love grid-based games. Yeah. Honestly, I think I'm gonna start a YouTube series about grid-based games and just go on a review rant for all grid-based games that I play. Yeah, you, I don't know what it is it's about. It's probably them, a but, community of them out there. Oh, bro, it probably <laughs> really is a community I need to tap into because Order Battles, Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Yeah. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance Two. <laughs> um. Uh, Final Fantasy War of the Lions. Um, uh, I'm playing one right now called Mercenary Saga. Okay, it's three of those. Mm. Um, no, that's it, too it much, just, man. If you if I get to move my character around, buy different gear for him, stra- strategize like a chessboard, <laughs> I'm sold. XCOM, I'm XCOM good. two, <laughs> XCOM War of the Chosen. Mm-hmm. Um, freaking, there's a new game coming out called Mutant uh, Zero. Uh, I think Zero Dawn. Or zero days. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna email. I'm gonna email the reps and look and see if I can get a beta for that yeah, or a review yeah. copy. Uh, which okay. Pro tip for people: find the rep. The um, what are they called? Find the PR rep for whatever gaming company you're looking for. Follow them on Twitter. Follow them. Um, hit them up on Reddit. Whatever source of communication you usually talk to people over the internet, and just ask. Like I got to, I don't think I gave the story, and if I did, I'm sorry for repeating it. Um, when it came to uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance, one day I seen somebody retweet a guy, and he was the PR, the head PR for um, I forgot what the Warhorse uh, Warhorse Games, and I was like, you know what? Let me shoot my shot. So I shot him a DM, and I shot on my YouTube page, and I was like, hey, um, this is what I do. I don't have many followers, but I make up for it with hard work. And I'm looking for a review copy. Long story short, I ended up all the way talking to the D, uh, the Deep Silver distribution guy from um, from west the West Coast, and 
he was like, only reason we're not sending you a copy is because you don't have enough uh, subscribers. Of course. They have they do a meta. When it gets to certain distributors, they have a meta thing where it's like, okay, when you have 100,000 or 1,500 subscribers, uh, that puts you in a category to get blah, 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 that's blah. That's a person and that's that's how to put you in the category to even ask. Yeah, because basically. there's a lot of there's a lot of people that they don't even have to ask. They just yeah, they them. just get it. Yeah, but if you they check your stats and they're like, okay, well, based on what you have, we we really can't give you this. Of course, but the but the point is, we're I made it all the way talking to a contact at Deep Silver. Yeah, I I feel like, almost, I, I feel like it, especially with a game like that, it's always like every person matters. Like everybody yeah. matters. So. Mm-hmm. If anybody that emails and you know mm-hmm. DMs us and talks and tries to talk to us about something that we're creating, we're going to reply. Why? Mm-hmm. Because it's like, you know, we 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 want as many people on on board on a game like this because that's just what we're looking for. Mm-hmm. Now, say you had, you know, a bit more subscribers, they wouldn't have even thought twice. They would have just said, "Send me your info," and yep. gave it to you. But in in a, especially in a business move like that. Both parties have to receive something out of it. You receive yeah. a game that you've been looking at. And, been and they would get exposure. Exactly. And they get some type of exposure. So I'm okay with that. Yeah. Like, I wasn't mad at it. It was of just so not. cool. It was a dope experience. And um, and back to the point. Well, I'm that's back to the point of turn-based games. I'm going to hit up that company yeah. and uh, uh, try to get a copy. I love those fucking. Oh, Wasteland. Uh, what is it called? Wasteland 2. I think it is called Wasteland 2. Mm. Um, I love those games. I don't know. It, it's been since I was a kid. That's really even Pokemon is an RPG to that uh like to that level. Yeah. It just I love those games. And you know what it is? I can do so much other stuff, and the game is still where it is, and I don't have to worry about oh crap. Like yeah. I can turn it off, turn it on, and be back to where I was. But um, so on that random rant, um, Oh, hey man, tip to you listeners. Oh Take yeah, heed. pro tip. Hey man, <laughs> hit people up. Talk oh, to people. It's communicating yeah, is just it's the key, man. You have to be able to just and that's and it's funny. That's what I don't. I guess I wouldn't do stuff like that because I'm just waiting. Like I'm I'm through with the you know trying to be the first whatever. Unless it's like a small game, like a small yeah. company, small game, things like that. I'm cool with. But like for these bigger companies, these bigger name companies, bigger game titles, if if no one looks seeks me out, I'm probably not gonna seek them out. You know? That's fair. And then it's it's funny. It's so many great re, like people that you follow for reviews and stuff that may get it because you obviously you follow people with the same interests most of the time. And once you're following and listening to people when people are talking about certain games like it's a couple destiny people i follow and once they get to talking about something um i take it i have confidence i have a lot of confidence in them that they're going to make the right decision and obviously how they speak about the game because they've experienced the way i've experienced it they've gone through raids they've probably been here since year one day d1 year one or day one type deal so you know listening to them it's like oh, okay cool perfect so Imagine somebody listening to you and being like, "Hey, I like turn-based, uh, uh, grid, grid, yeah, grid, grid based game yeah. as well." And the way he goes about it, the way he approaches them, is the way I like to approach about it. So it's like, "Hey, I'm gonna follow this guy and see what he that says." That might be my niche. It, it may be. You play I them games more. You I'm, always go back to those games. Hey, there. Uh, somebody in my group chat, uh, or somebody in my friend list. Shout out to E. He always makes fun of me. He's like, "You over there playing Massive Chalice again?" Mm-hmm. And that game, I, I haven't picked it up in probably about a year, but I, it was damn near perfect. They added a whole new element that I didn't even think was possible, and mm-hmm. I talked about it before, so I'm not gonna jump into yeah. it again. But um, but one thing, okay, so this is segueing into um what we what we've been playing the last couple days. Um Ooh, Call me. of Duty Black Ops 4. Um I'm a I'ma be straight up and I'm gonna do a review video for the first because I think we've put in I know for sure I put in 10 plus hours so far. 
I think I got about 10 hours in. Mm-hmm. Um, it's funny how those things add up, huh? Hell yeah. As fast as what we had it for three days. Yeah. And I've, you I've, got I've, more I've, hours than me because obviously I had to yeah. work. So when you were playing it, I'm on my phone, Xbox, well, the Xbox app on my phone. I'm like, oh, this fool playing, man. I'm Hell sad. yeah. I, I was sad running. now. <laughs> I was running. I'm going to be straight up. I'm not going to be fake about it. Yeah. I thought it was going to be trash. I thought I was going to get in there and really? complain. Not trash. I thought I was going to be over it. Like, oh, it's just Call of Duty again. Mm. Um, but I'm so happy I took such a long break. Yeah, I played Call of Duty World at War. Or not World at War. Wow. Uh, World War Two. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, it was called World War Two, right? Yeah. The last one. Yeah. Um, that was that was fun, but I'm kind of sick of the World War games. Um, I can live without them. Damn, man. You know, it, you know, it's so crazy. There's so many people that can't. No, we go from this era. I remember playing. Uh, I remember playing. I think it was what was it? Black Ops Two. Mm. I think it was Black Ops Two, and then after Black Ops Two. I forget. Was it? I think no. It wasn't Black Ops. It was Ghost. After Ghost, mm. I believe it was. I don't remember. But anyway, I remember the era of of Call of Duty when people, when we were boots on the ground, we were a boots on the ground yeah. game, and then yeah. it was like, man, we need something do new. It needs to be innovated. And then yeah. Advanced Warfare came out, and then when Advanced Warfare came out, that period of wanting something new was like two months like two yeah. months and then it was like, like i hate ooh, this game uh, the verticality trash. is not what i expected this that the third i don't like it blah, blah blah but y'all was just claiming that it was the best game y'all enjoyed it y'all loved it see this is this is the th- this is just like with music you have to give it time coming out of, in the first and i know we're in the era of get it out there first so your exposure is the highest give it time before you decide to say hey this is the best ever. Right. This is why certain people who review games, I don't really agree with them because they haven't put a lot of time in the game and haven't experienced most of it. So I remember that era vividly. And Advanced Warfare kicked it off. It was like, oh, yeah, you know, jetpacks and jumping off walls and all of this stuff. And it was like, ah, okay, cool. And then what happens? Then we get, I think, no, it was uh, Black Ops 4 came out. Now Black or Ops Black Ops Three. Three. Now I'm, I'm I know I cut you off, but with me, I I so enjoy Treyarch games. I will always be a Treyarch fan of co- any Call of Duty that they've done, starting with Black Ops One, Two. Two was my favorite Call of Duty ever. Three was okay. I didn't really play it as much as I thought I would. And then obviously Four is here now and. I can tell you I enjoy 4. It's a lot of things in 4 that I can complain about, but it, it they're easy they're easy fixes. It's not yeah. really gameplay. It's just like UI stuff and yeah. You and, know we did talk about that. And that's um that's actually something I'm gonna do because um I think I'm gonna put up a just a quick review for my first couple hours. Yeah. Of, you know face value. Um and I think that's something I'll start doing from now on because I know I'm not gonna do full reviews. There's very few games I play <laughs> that I finish like 100%. And I feel like you can't do a full review of a game like to this extent yeah. until you not you don't have the platinum it, but you kind of almost have the platinum this year. Yeah, but see like this like is- that's what I almost that's what I expect if I'm going to come out and say here's my full review. Yeah. Like and, I need and, you to play the full damn game. That is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm okay with your the initial review like i'm okay yeah. like don't get me wrong i'm okay with hey yeah. i haven't beat the game you let me know where you are yeah. i haven't beat the game i'm trying to play honest. this mode uh, and so far this is what i enjoy this is what i don't enjoy i'm 100% okay with that but for you you reviewing fools out there that want to jump out of the pocket and say oh yeah the this game is trash the game's oh, yeah. trash or it's third, third, oh, great the best game ever and you ain't be then you game get 10 content. hours in and it's like wait a second yeah this he lied to me pretty much so i need i'm a you know what made me nervous somebody i read a review about assassin's creed odyssey which i kind of told myself i wasn't gonna look at too many gaming reviews anymore yeah um just because I'm at a point in my life because my time is so limited mm-hmm. in terms of, or not limited, it's just so sectioned off. So limited, yeah, it's limited. Um, I I don't want to be talked out of a game that I'm excited for. Yeah. 
like it because because then somebody's bad experience could make me pass up something i would love exactly but and that's, that's why oh no go ahead i'm sorry no but that's why it's reviews are scary especially nowadays when every i mean hell i'm talking about doing reviews for example, um, I did a review of an early, um, I got an early copy of a game. It was a flight simulator. And I think I talked about this before, too. I repeat stories, so just tell me if you heard it. I don't want to. Yeah, we're going to do time. that a lot, guys. We, we definitely yeah. going to do that. Um, I, uh, it, was, it was really trippy uh, because I suck at flight simulators. I, hell, I didn't even beat the flight mode in GTA San Andreas. Damn. I had to ask somebody else to do that. Yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> I suck at it. Damn. So, um, but I was straight up about it. I was like, look, these aren't my type of games. I would n- normally not play this, but based on what I see and based on what I experience, it's got a great training, uh, mm. a great training method. It really holds your hand up until a certain point, And then you can really enjoy the game. Blah, blah, blah. I gave my honest opinion about it. Like, I would, I would not buy this game. But for those who enjoy flight simulators, this would probably be something in action flight simulator. Yeah. Like, boom. I, I think I got like one dislike on the video, or maybe four. <laughs> but it was it was. But I but I say that because I don't have that many, and yeah. I'm not saying it's a brag. But, but I'm that's, just. But even one like for the likes of what you have, or one yeah. dislike is kind of a lot because it's like, dang man, like you if you look at your likes to dislike ratio, it's like, come on man, it's. I mean, think about the people who get seven thousand likes, and that's not even. Ten percent of their, yeah. the or seven thousand dislikes yeah. oh, compared yeah. to their and that's not Million even ten percent yeah. exactly. You see what I'm saying? So it's like God ah, dang man. But at the same it, time, it, that's what I enjoy about it. Like you don't get a lot of people out here. And then it's funny. This is this throws me off too. There's a lot of people that won't review a product if they don't if they initially don't like it. Now, the problem I see with that is you got a whole bunch of products on your channel, a whole bunch of games on your channel that you like. So you, all of these products, you're saying, buy it. Be it's honest to people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if you did something for like your the masses, like something that you that you thought about, you, you kind of read up on it, but you didn't like it, but you decided to say, hey, let me make a video on it. And then I see, I get it too. Cause a lot of companies, it's like, Hey, if you don't like it, don't play it. Or if you don't like it, don't watch it at the same time. It's like, man, imagine how many people you could, cause it, your followers sometimes I believe at least, and this is how I am. I only follow people obviously that I enjoy that are entertaining, but it's a lot of times I can relate to them somehow, whether it's the yeah. same game we play or yep. the same type of uh, play style we have, etc. That's why. So imagine if there was something that they reviewed and it was like, yeah, you know what? Like, just like what you said. Hey, yeah, th- this game is not for me. Um, you know, this is yeah. what it does. I wouldn't buy the game. Yeah, I kept it. I kept it super straight. Yeah. And that's um, and it's funny because there's a couple of people I watch like uh, Maddie Plays, uh, The No. Um, I, I like these groups. Well, Mr. Maddie, he's a he's a solo guy, mm-hmm. but I've been following him for years. I mean, since like 2015. Yeah, Damn, that's crazy. I think before that, when they first announced Fallout. So yeah, two, Fallout Four. So 2015, because uh, remember it came out like a couple months after they announced it. Yeah. Um. So which was I, uh, odd. I loved it. Which I was I was odd. really praying that that was going to be the new trend from now on. Because and let me, I'll get to this. I'll mm-hmm. get to that. Let me let me jump to that because I want to talk about the whole um, Rockstar hundred hour work week and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, now, my my point is with reviews, you gotta you gotta be not necessarily careful. Just gotta be honest. Of course, uh, that's 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 it. It's not a matter of being careful. It's just hey, I I didn't enjoy the game. Yeah. Like I could I could say now as much crap as I talk on Destiny. I'll turn around and play it a year straight through year three. Mm-hmm. You know me. I'm good for that. Like, I have, I did it before. Mm-hmm. I played it for three, like a month, uh, year D1, and then walked away and then came back D, uh, D1 year three and played the shit out of it. Like, nonstop, nothing else. Yeah. Doing Iron Banner. Oh, Lord Saladin's back. <laughs> like, like. <laughs> Come back Where every every four weeks, <laughs> bro. I was on the app. I would be on the app like, hey, I'd be texting you like, hey, so and so's up this week. Yeah, like we was really on it. I have I bounce in and out like that, and I I think that's a 
that's a fresh perspective for me because I get to touch so many damn video games. Now, do I ever finish them? No. See, but uh, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you this. Once I go full time with content creating, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. That's how I'm gonna be. I'm gonna destroy games. Like my initial goal is to beat the game as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. The only reason why it's gonna be like that is because there's so much and so many games out here that I would it's love crazy. to play. I would it's love crazy. to play these games, but on the same time, on the same hand, I ain't got that much time right, right I now. Don't, I man. don't, man. And it- and it's um I love what Gary V says. I, I always recommend Gary V to everybody. Mm-hmm. Um anybody who'll listen to me. Um I always he says you have six hours uh you need six hours of sleep. What are you doing with the rest of the eighteen hours? Shit. And I when you when you really break it down like that, oh I I, you know what? I remember that interview. I remember yeah. that that uh that that conference he said that at now yeah. it's funny. That's cause that's how I plan out my my work weeks and days. Same here. I literally yeah. do it like that. So uh-huh. if I need six hours of sleep, sometimes I'll cut six hours of sleep. Like I, I can get I'm I can function four five, hours of sleep. Four and a half, five, yeah. yeah, let me get four hours of sleep, and I'm gonna play till one, and that means I'm gonna get up at this time, and then I need about thirty minutes to sh- like I have timers on my phone. I have alarm yeah. clocks and <laughs> gang of hey, stuff no. set. <laughs> Bro, what time did I hit you up this morning? Like five thirty? Man, too we early. We got off at midnight. Bro, I like, too early. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's me up. So that's me texting you. Imagine how long I was up, like looking around and doing shit. <laughs> so yeah. um I've always I've I've never really needed much sleep. Um and it, it's pretty funny. So I got a uh I got a Fitbit. And it tracks my sleep, and I found out wh- like better reasons why I didn't. I function better off of I function so well off of a little bit of sleep, mm-hmm. and it's because I go into deep sleep so fast. My See, big ass goes from wide awake <laughs> to deep sleep in gotta, like a minute. I got to go to the doctor. They, uh, oh, nigga, you got sleep apnea? <laughs> no, no, no. They they're gonna check if I have it. Uh, so I got to do this overnight. Whatever the I sleep test, remember. whatever, yeah. I got to yep. go sleep at this office. <laughs> hey, and, they gotta and speak, check this thing. Speaking on that, folks, 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 do not mess around. Go to the doctor, please, for the love of God. Go get yourself checked out mm-hmm. and um, find if you don't have insurance, go find out your local state programs. I mean, I, I hope we got listeners all over the world. Just find something, but please, if as best you can, look out for yourself. You know, sleep, drink water. You know, don't don't sit around on injuries. I've been destroying, man. Boy, my knees killing me. Yeah, that's just no joke, bro. Um, and I know, like, I'm in a special situation, so I'm able to go to you know different doctors and whatnot all the time. Mm-hmm. But it just, I know a lot of people have different reasons for not going to doctors. But please, as best you can, take care of yourself. Oh, um, because it's a. Uh, I mean. We don't. I don't think we get to hit the reset button. Hell, <laughs> hey, look, know. we don't know exactly. I'd rather not find out. But I me don't. too. <laughs> but yeah, uh, man. So all right. So Call of Duty. Uh, okay, yeah. Let me go into. Did I talk about what I liked about it? No, no, I, no, no. I, no. I cut you off. My bad. Okay, I love Blackout. Now I have fun with PUBG. I've played Fortnite. Only thing I'm trash at with Fortnite is because I can't build. I'm that's not me. I don't do that. But rolling it back into <laughs> I'm not I a carpenter. Just, I'm not a carpenter. <laughs> like everybody's as soon as they get shot, they throw up a full wall. I'm like, I play it like they I'm throw playing a little mini PUBG. fort. They got a little four box yeah, house. Four to four. Four to four. Boom. But okay. So with blackout, on my big issue in which you actually solved for me last night was the picking up weapons. Mm-hmm. It was the dumbest shit ever. I got to hold X. I don't know why pick. that's an option. That why shouldn't f- be an option. I should run by a weapon, tap X, and have all its attachables <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> shoot you in the face. Yeah. But um, but now you said there was something in the menu where you can adjust that. Yeah. So thank God that they figured that out. But I don't even know, like you said, why would you even make that that's not, that possibly an option? Game, man. That yeah, that should not. Game. No, because it was it was such an annoyance that there was one on one fights that I lost plenty of times because we both ran for the same weapon, 
and my ex didn't load faster than their ex. <laughs> and they, the they got the cable. they got the yeah. super elite. Yeah, super elite. <laughs> you breathe on the X and it, it picks up the controller. They go like it, this. It is just <laughs> Man, it, it's it I don't understand why I like options like that. And then it's those people see, I'm a person once I get a brand new game, I first place I go is options. Mm. First place I go is options. That's only with Battlefield. With That's, me, I do that in Battlefield. Oh really? I do that with yeah. every game. That was creepy as hell. You straight? What the hell is that? Hey, I don't know what that is. Well, folks, so my issue with while we're checking to make sure he's not being haunted. Um, my issue with uh with the menus. So okay, I normally on Battlefield in all the Battlefield games, I'll go in and adjust the reticule colors are the hit marker colors. So if I get a headshot, it goes red. If I get a body shot, I'll switch it to blue. Um, if I get uh you good? <clears throat> my bad. It was the the my fan, my laptop sitting on. I don't know something happened with it. I don't know. Did it short? I don't know. It's just it, it sounded like the fan, something the fan, something's touching the fan. Oh, okay. Cuz that was scared the shit out you of know, me. I, I was, I was like, like, what the hell is that? Uh, the like, dogs oh, outside. Man. Oh man. I was I'm, like, oh, uh, I was going I'm gonna be real. A part of me, I was so scared I was going to act like nothing happened. <laughs> That's that's how that's how scared I was. You hear some shit? Throw the like, blankets over your head and go to sleep. I'm like, oh man, they just gonna have to haunt this place. Said, hey man, he get hey, me, he get me. Hey man, you, I just don't want to see it. I feel it. I just want to be sleep. It's funny how that works, but hey, I'll be real. People be like, you hear that? Nope. I ain't hear shit. Hey, hey I didn't tell you. Oh, go I got ahead, a crazy go story. Ahead. Go ahead. All right. So at I was at work, right? Did I tell you the story about uh, walking down the train tracks? No. Okay. So at my job, we deal with uh, coal cars, right? Got so it. we have to drive. We have to pull coal cars up with a train and on tracks. West Virginia. Yeah. So uh, now, um, so one night and normally I don't like going in the far back at night because it gets black out there. We in right underneath big bear it's all oh, this creatures and critters exactly so <laughs> it's it's when i tell you it is black like dark and you can't i can't see nothing in front of me so um now if you ever seen obviously if you've ever seen train cars they're you know they're they're pretty long uh and we have five cars on attached to our, our yeah. big engine so um you know, I have I'm the spotter. I don't I I can drive the train, but this one dude was driving the train. I, I'm the spotter, so we're we're bringing the trains back. Like we got to somebody has to spot connecting them, and they in also the have, dark. Yes, in the dark. So now I'm walking back there. I got a uh, flashlight. I got everything with me. I got the knife out. I'm <laughs> I'm I'm full <laughs> Rambo ready, and um, I uh, I'm walking. I'm, I'm walking. I'm walking. And uh, I'm trying to spot because we don't have any ca- we don't have any cars to connect to because we're on gotcha. one of our empty tracks. So we're pushing the cars down. I'm trying to get them to the set point so I can stop, set the brake, and then you know we can set the brakes we need set and then take off. Sounds well, like you're playing Overwatch, but keep going. Well, listen. So uh, I'm uh, I'm walking. I'm walking. My my partner's driving the train back, and all I hear over the radio is uh, Packhouse Travis. I'm like, go ahead. Uh, he the person says something, but I don't really hear it. And I was like, come again, Matt. He goes, uh, something just ran behind you, <laughs> bro, <Bruh, Nigga>. bro, <bruh. laughs> bro. Listen, listen to me. When I tell you, I would have took off. That's it. I would listen to me. I, I stopped. I must have looked because my back is towards him. I'm looking down the pitch blackness. I must have stopped. I must have hit a about face and I broke. I broke. Bro. <laughs> I bro. got to the train. I'm like, bro, really? He was like, what do you mean, really? I'm like, don't tell me. Don't back out. Go through the stipulations of what. Tell, tell me, me what's going on. There's something behind you. <laughs> 
I said, oh, no. I was like, no. I, so, you know, <laughs> I, I drove a I drove a cat, one of our skidsters down there. He's I was stupid. not playing. I'm not. Nah, anybody jump in front of me getting ran over. <laughs> hey, bro. Okay. That's the crazy shit. <laughs> so let me tell you. I forgot to tell you, and this is the first time I'm saying this. I don't think I told you about it. Yeah. So w- recently, we're at work, and the area we live in, there are working. There's been a bunch of big fires. Yeah, like the whole yeah. county fire, all yeah. that big, big ass fires, right? Mm-hmm. So we got a little field next to our office, and we're all sitting. Um, for some reason, I'm on the other side of the building where you can see that field. And they're like, "Oh, hey, y'all go look out the window." So our dumbasses look out the <laughs> wrong window, and they was like, "Nah, man, this window." So we go. And you see a little smoke. So we're laughing, making all types of stupid jokes, you know, like fires are funny. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, my goofy ass, I'm, you know, I'm laughing, having a good ass time. And then all of a sudden, you heard the fire. You see, you see a couple dudes take off. Yeah. I'm like, whoa, so this is starting to get serious. And then you see the flames come up over the trees. Oh, hell. Like, no. first you see smoke, but then you see the flames climb up. And I said, I'm getting my wife and going home. <laughs> So I book it to the other side in typical movie fashion. This shit is just like a movie. Mm-hmm. Real life is stranger than fucking fiction. I walk into my office to get my office mate. She ain't there. Fuck. So I start walking down the office to get to my wife's office because we work for the same company. And nobody's there. <laughs> the whole place is empty. I'm like, what the hell? So I'm walking. They're having a meeting. In a boardroom. This is like an official fucking boardroom. I bust in. I was like, because I'm, you know me, I'm dramatic. But I was like, look, y'all, not to be dramatic, because that's how much I play around at work. I play around this much at work that I had to let them know that I'm not playing. Not to so be in, the, in, my, in my best serious face, you know me, I don't do well under serious moments. So I'm like, look, hey, guys, there's a really big fire. You guys need to get your stuff. We got to go. Yeah. They looking at me like just like a movie. <laughs> like I'm stupid. And I was like, there's a big fire <laughs> next door. Let's go, people. <laughs> Get your stuff. Let's go. And they start <laughs> they start grabbing all their stuff and they start scrambling. Everybody paused. Like <laughs> so everybody's like, what do we do? We gotta get a hold of corporate. Da, 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 da. I said, I don't wait for a murder to get saved. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wait for confirmation to get saved. Yeah. They're like, Baron, you just gonna leave? I don't wait <laughs> for confirmation to get saved. Pro tip, people, you can always find another job, but you can't always find another life. I don't play. I got the hell up out of there. The cops showed up, start blocking off the street. I was out of there. Yeah. I Bro, heard, man, listen, they they give you. It- they run Kylie through those. At, uh, go ahead. My wife was shocked I came and got her. <laughs> Why? She was because you know me. What's our rule? Meet here. Meet Not here. I'll come get you. <laughs> Meet here. For those who don't know, we used to have a safe spot in high school. I love. Well, I love that. I even you ex- always, I've even established that with the family. Like yeah, <laughs> meet me meet here. here. <laughs> if something goes down, get. Here. You know where to find me. <laughs> like I know where to find. I don't you. know if we're gonna get separated. Mm-hmm. I don't know if phones gonna go out. I don't know if I, the building burned down. Whatever. This is where we meet. Hell or high water. Get here. <laughs> and we always set up safe spots. But I got man. We was out of there. They would still call it as we're driving out. Okay, guys, we got clearance to go home. As we're pulling <laughs> out of the parking lot, they're like <laughs> bare <laughs> ass sitting tall. <laughs> I don't give a <laughs> shit. Hey, they actually sent the email out and were like, you know, thank you, Baron, uh, for alerting everyone. Because I just went to go get my wife personally. I'm not <laughs> yeah. gonna lie. I'm no hero. Uh, the building didn't burn down or nothing, but still, what's the difference between <laughs> the fire being over there and right here? Yeah, right like, here, it, it yeah. ain't much of a difference. Exactly. Um. So, but yeah, I got an email accolade or whatever. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, that's cool. But I, I, I see. I never understood those. Like. I'm a as a grown man. Even in school, I didn't follow that rule. Like you know, yeah, cold red yeah, rules. Meet here. I'm out. <laughs> I'm. I Find remember, me at home. We had a cold red uh, because there was a homeless guy on our campus. So I oh, see, this was in when I lived in L.A. Yeah. So cold red teachers supposed to lock the door, go through the program, whatever. 
man, I looked at the teacher and she was my uh, homeroom teacher. She was cool. She used to let us play games on her computer and everything. Yeah. And she was solid, like real cool, almost like. Almost like you're 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 that mom figure at school. Got you, man. We heard the we heard the alarm, and then over the intercom they give us the code red, whatever. I looked at her. I said, "I'm out." I y'all chill and wait at this. I broke. I hit the fence. I went right to the liquor store across the street. Started playing Street Fighter. I was like, "Ain't nobody robbing this liquor store." I know that <laughs> he's strapped and ready. <laughs> so I went right across the street. So, and then, oh. pol- yeah, and I'm glad I did that that day, too, because the police came. They shut it down. Kids didn't go home till like, 5 because they didn't oh, know where nah. the guy went. Nah. Nope. I'm, I'm walk- at home. I'm walking with my backpack. I walk right past all of that shit. I I'm say, going I'm home. going home. I'm not- Y'all not catching me here, dog. Bro, Bro I'm telling you, I I don't know how many times I didn't broke protocol on, like, all I'm, I'm going always because I'm going home. I'm, I'm going, going home. always break protocol when it comes to those, and I understand why you're not supposed to. But with me, that. I'm a grown man. <laughs> I'm I'll send grown my man. supervisor a text message like, "Hey, sorry, went home. I got out." <laughs> hey, hey, no, hey, real, real talk. Like, um, I told them they're like, "Baron, you just gonna leave?" I was like, "Take it out of my sick time." <laughs> I don't feel good. <laughs> I'm going home. Like, what do you mean? Yeah, nah, y'all not, waiting for an I'm email to get none safe? No, y'all waiting for an email. You're waiting for somebody in a whole other county or out of out of out of the city to call you and tell you it's okay for you to get safe. Yeah, they're not oh, even I'm here. Not, they they not here. I'm oh, trying to be bro. where they at, <laughs> bro. Nah, they told um, they we went, we went through the active shooter thing. That shit is scary. We and did too. It it is scary, but the problem with it is, I feel like we should all have to wait here. Like if something's going down in a specific area, we know where it's at. You telling me I got to stay here in my nah. little office? The door don't lock. All this. I said. I said hell no. It's. I said I got these train tracks. I'm taking these train <laughs> tracks out of here. I'm getting to my car some which way how I don't care. So there, one of my my coworkers is gonna say, well, what if the guy's over there? Then I'm going the other way. That car yeah, could wait. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, I don't, what if the I'm guy? Not. He and you know they. Everybody always hits. There's you always a the, what if guy. What yeah. if? What if? And I was like, yeah. I don't play them what if games because I'm going. If there's a way, there's if there's a will, there's, or, a, will, there's a way. I'm out of here, dog. So, hey, let me, let me tell you. So I'm ha- like our office. It was pretty dope. They brought in a couple of uh, sheriffs mm-hmm. to talk about it. What made this the sheriff so dope is at the end of it, he was like, "But at the end of the day, survive." I was like, "See, see I fucks that. with him." <laughs> That's all I need to hear. They he didn't said, t- fight for your life. Man. I was like, "You ain't got to tell me <laughs> shit." <laughs> I didn't need this trainer, guys. That's all he had to say. Bruh, bruh, listen, it's it's so funny. Um, Fight they, for your life. I don't know if your I don't know if your job did this, but they put up like the paperwork, like the the form on what to do. So uh, yeah, they we had got the it on our it. monitors in our in our break room, and it it occasionally pop up on the middle of the screen like this is what you do. Step one, do this. Now on there, it don't say nothing. It says like the last step to fight like if you if all else fails back in the corner you have to fight like it was like start throwing stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> throwing Bro, rocks and stuff the dude because we're all in offices yeah. um the dude was like uh the sheriff was like hey a smart idea is turn your lights off if you are in your office mm-hmm. and you don't know which way everything's going on exactly. you don't want to yeah. that put a chair down on the floor turn your lights off Oh boy, whoever coming through, they're gonna walk in, be looking up, and they're gonna trip over the goddamn chair. I was like, Oh, yeah, that's some simple <laughs> shit. So, and and then and then that's when the fight for your life comes in part. Yeah. Whoop. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm I'm telling you, like it's it's funny that these events have, have gone down in the past. Yeah. Or let me let me rephrase that. It's not funny that it's a events, trip. It's a, it is a trip that these events have gone down in the past and we've get to see like you know, these some of the things that could have happened or could have done could have been mm-hmm. done to not only prevent it but help save you know a lot more people from getting injured or or worse. But I've always had that mentality that mentality of, and then security kind of solidified that. 
Get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> get out of Dodge. You got to move. Bust the move. Get up out of there. If you can't, then all else fails, man. You better start biting. Break. I'm breaking next. Like, that's my whole thing is I got to I gotta end this now. This has to. <laughs> like, you ever seen uh, Pineapple Express? Hello? Yes. Yeah, you've seen yeah Pineapple I'm here. Express? Yeah. Remember the part where, uh, uh, what part was that? Where, oh, uh, when the dude was beating him up after he called uh, they called the hitman to come get him. Red, he was yes, beat, and he was like, "This it's here!" And slammed his <laughs> <laughs> and slammed him into the wall. They take him yeah. to the chair. I picture that, like I picture doing some off the wall crazy. It, it got to stop. This has to stop. Yeah, bro, and that's and that's what I'm um that okay because we are clearly off topic topic and I'm never going to be able to talk about about a black ops. Yeah. But I that's what I love about horror movies. That whenever every good horror movie, I love when the victims get that fuck it. <laughs> when they get that hint of fuck it. That's yeah. always the best part of every horror movie. When there's like, you know what? I'm about to whoop this evil spirit's ass. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're not about to fuck with me before. <laughs> get the salt. Nah, type, it, like we about to whoop like our it, when uh what what was it Buster Rhymes? Who did he kick? Jason? Oh, was it how? Uh, I think that was uh Michael or, it Myers. was it was Michael Myers. Yeah. He fucking windmill kicked him. I was like, yes, <laughs> he out there yes. looking like Eddie. <laughs> yeah, he gave him busy. You know how done with everything you have to be to be angry enough to drop kick a serial killer? <laughs> like you know how much rage. That oh. takes you just watch this man slaughter a whole plethora of people. This man is known for slaughtering, and you see him head up and you give him a kick. <laughs> like your whole body, your spirit went well, into it. Like dying <laughs> <laughs> I'm see, I ain't messing with those Jason. Like it's I we you all still you obviously watching those movies, you think like what would I do <laughs> situation like right. that? I got I, I think of I think of uh like obviously Jason, I think of all of that stuff. Like you just gotta move, dog. <laughs> you just gotta keep break. Moving. Just hey, keep breaking. <laughs> man, have you seen that little clip? Uh, these it's old as hell. Uh, I want to say it was Vine. These dudes were sitting in the hallway and they were flicking the light, mm -hmm. and the figure popped up, and they looked at each other. They turned the light on. <laughs> he disappeared. They flicked the light on. He reappeared. They turned the light, and they did it a couple times, and then he popped up in front of them. Yeah. One of them clocked him, bow, and then the other one hit the corner, got like a TV monitor, started slamming him, and then they called somebody else and somebody shot him. <laughs> they beat his ass, and then they took off running. <laughs> that's the, there was that's there was the, no hesitation. That's the mentality you gotta have in a situation yeah. like that because I know, hey, that's that fight or flight, bro. <laughs> that fight. shit is real, or man. Flight or fight. You know what? I I talk so much shit about how I would just like leave everybody and disappear. But every time there's been an opportunity for me to go and help, I always end up helping. And I hate that. I hate that about myself. I don't want to be the good guy. I want to be the guy who lives. I don't want, like, I, well, I just see. I, no, well, nothing. I want to be able to talk about, man, I was there. No. <laughs> when I seen that shit blow up in flames, I was like, wow. I don't know. It's, I don't want to be the one who died of, of smoke it's inhalation. Been plenty of opportunities. For you to do stuff like that, or even in high school, <laughs> so remember, remember, I got busted helping old boy. I went, he dropped the shit when we were running away, yeah. and I went back to help him, and then we all got busted. And I'm sitting in Saturday. I didn't get busted. You was gone. You was the only one who didn't get busted. Bear me, that fool. Bear me. My old, old good spirited ass. I went back. He, was he like, said, hey, he was like, hell. hell. And I was like, hey, no, nah, listen. This, this, how, this how he was. He was like this. He was hey, on the hey. ground. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's exactly what fucking happened. He and my old good, I look back and I, I bullshit you not. Once again, it was just like a fucking movie. <laughs> I ran right back. And soon as I got to him to help him pick up his stuff, golf carts and security <laughs> on all sides. <laughs> I was like, "Fuck!" Damn. And then they got Isaac's ass. Isaac he came back. Soaking wet. He, no, because he was fucking soaking wet. Oh. So, like, they knew who he like. God. 
Damn, Jesus. it was that was messed up. I, I every time I think about that, I was like, damn, I should have gotten trouble with my man. Like, no, 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 no. no. Then, you get right. But that then, was the only Saturday school I had. But then I was like, I don't know. I wouldn't have saved that guy. <laughs> but wasn't he your cousin? No. Nah. Oh, I thought he was like your nah. cousin. No. Nope. Just no. Nope. Just some dude. Shit, <laughs> but no, but it, it's so funny that anytime moments like that rise, I always do what I say I wouldn't do. Like I'm leaving all y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> like I, nah. I remember when I remember when we uh it was me, you and uh Melissa. We went to uh that party. <laughs> oh, when they got shot yeah, up. Yeah, and you said you what'd you say? You you came to me. Hey. Go now. <laughs> hey, Let's go okay. now. <laughs> that was a prime example. So I have this weird sixth sense about place is getting shot up i just do so we're at a house party and i'm in a circle talking and for some you know music stumping yeah really can't hear nothing but then all of a sudden i look towards the doorway and this dude is jacked up like he's hype and all he, of a sudden I he see, had no I, shirt I, on he had a white he, beard he, on. he was hype and he was like i'm going to the trunk that's all i heard <laughs> I tapped everybody around me. Hey, this dude said he's going to the trunk. I don't know where y'all from, but that usually means he's shooting. And then I would have left if you weren't in the party. I was so way I, deep in the party. Deep in the party, <laughs> which, once again, normally I say, oh, I'm out. But I had I couldn't leave my brother, so I was I go and tap. Hey, let's go. I didn't warn. I didn't get on the speaker. Hey, everybody. Like, because then we would have been able to get out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a little selfish, but and then we leave, and we come back, and that shit look like Zombie Land. Everybody running for dear life, Dude, fuck it, man. But look, I, 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 man, it was so much stuff we used to do in high school that like to avoid stuff like we park a block away. Yeah, we would do all types. <laughs> we would of shit. do all types of stuff. But hey, you right, man? Because literally, uh, it's funny every every time after that. Anything, anytime you was like, let's go, it's just time to go. There is no yeah. debating. There There's is no, no hey, yeah. hold on. Nah. Yeah. That was the first situation that had, or actually, no, that was not the first. Nah, that we that had was, a couple. That was yeah, one that of That was a big one. Yeah, where yeah. it was like, oh, crap, let's go. So, n- never questioned uh, you after that when it came to Bro, I, my stomach are not up. Like, ah, uh, this don't feel right. This don't feel too like, right. <laughs> but look, knee start. Now it's my knee hurt. Like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Some nice pain right here. I'm out of here. Hey, time to go, gentlemen. Let's get but, out of here. Okay, but look, back to call yeah. uh duty. I'm not about gonna change time. It's anymore. about time. Though. Yeah, it is about time. I'm not gonna change topics no more. So I enjoy the hell out of the game. Mm-hmm. I've only played four modes. I've played one of the specialist story mode things. Um, which was dope because I thought it was gonna be no story. The stories are pretty cool. They're okay. they're put in there, they're well placed. Um, the intro is dope for the specialist stories. Yeah. Like gruesome as hell. And then um I played Heist. No, not Heist. Uh what did we play last night? Team Deathmatch, TDM, Dang. uh Blackout, and I played Solos, Duos, and then um and then what uh Kill Confirmed. Yeah. That's the only ones I've been playing. Um I've never really been big on the strategic ones because of the turn I suck so bad and then the turnover rate. So no need for me to go in there. Suck. Yeah, I need more opportunities. <laughs> yeah, I need more opportunities to do better. And then I always got to warm up. I'm never off the rip good mm-hmm. ever. Um, See, back so, in my day, nah, I go <laughs> right. Um, but all in all, the game surprised me, and I think I'm gonna start going in with a negative opinion on games because anything good will make me feel good about it. Yeah. Uh, if I went in thinking it was gonna be the best game ever, I'd be pissed by the UI. Now the interface is stupid. The interface stupid. and the loading and the friend uh and the way you can't like you know how with most games, even if you're not in the game, I could shoot you an invite and it invites you to the game. I don't know if it's just something wrong with my system going on right now. Well, you but can't, if, well that's how I was joining you and that's how I was inviting everybody. Okay, so else. it's just me then, so but I won't complain. It, okay, I'll check my shit. Yeah, but it's I I'm a I agree with you on the 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 UI. The UI is it's stupid. Is ridiculously crazy. I don't understand why I got the whole cursor thing. I don't understand 
why I gotta hold to activate stuff like hey but wait what about this one though the lag I know the game is still new the lag is real in the menus mm -hmm. like the game once the game starts it's good you're flowing you don't feel nothing yeah but in the menus it we almost started another match when we were trying to back out it took forever. There's such a delay. In I, you know everything. what? I'm st I'm starting to realize that with a lot of like a <clears throat> Destiny does that, Call of Duty. This one does that because obviously we mm -hmm. witnessed it last night. And um, there was another game I was playing that did that. Uh, I forget. But all in all, I, it's a a lot of games starting to do that nowadays. You know, with it's that a serious that delay. little delay when you want to leave or back out of the match, and then sometimes you can't even back out. Sometimes it yeah, won't allow you to back that's out. That's what I was nervous about because them dudes was smacking us. Yeah, and we I was like, okay, I'm done. Right, it's time to go. I'm not playing these guys. <laughs> yeah, they destroyed us. That they, was every time I breathed, I was catching a hot round to the yeah, face. I was trying to get was, out of there, bro. But all in all, though, um, I always tell people this close to the holidays: wait until Black Friday to buy games because you can get them for half off. Mm -hmm. Like. Why not just wait? Like this is gonna be in a bin at Best Buy for thirty nine. Like it, it's gonna it's happen. Funny the value on this game on Call of Duty games diminished Quickly. immediately. If you wait until February, you'll get it for twenty bucks. Like, but it, that that's also because obviously the competitive side about it. Uh -huh. I truly only pretty much enjoy Call of Duty most of the time because of the uh, the the esports. The esports scene behind it. Oh, we did play a pro. Yeah, we did play. <laughs> is, this is, your king? <laughs> is this your king? I, I will hey, never forget that. Hey, okay, so I don't think I'm competitive, but I'm pretty competitive. No, this fool competitive. Uh -oh. Don't let him tell you he not. He competitive. The dude, literally, the dude did nothing to him. I just called him out like, oh yeah, that's such and such, and he was like, oh, I just killed your, I just killed your pro. I'm like, whoa, you taking this kind of first? Hey, and I was looking for him the whole match, and I just I was like, I was he like, got okay, the last you? kill on him. He was like, yes, this is your king. I said, whoa. <laughs> I really did pull a kill monger. I did it without even breathing it wasn't even i didn't even plan it that was like, bad bro i'm like bro yeah. he ain't even my favorite my favorite pro <laughs> uh, it was bad like i, I and then i thought about it, i was like that must suck to be a pro i would literally have a different gaming like my gaming handle is different than all my social media and channel handle mm -hmm. like i'm not baron j67 in any of my games because i would like to have some form of life i was no. <laughs> Not me. I want to destroy my fans. If you want to play against me, you you will get obliterated. <laughs> Come get these. Come hands. get some. <laughs> I am here for all the smoke. <laughs> hey, listen. One. Of you, hey, I'm telling y'all the, the trolling. The trolling thing. At some point, y'all gonna learn because I I feeds all the energy back. So. <laughs> You you start snapping on me, I I, I'm snapping I back. So y'all going to be, I don't care about them them Twitch videos y'all make about, you know, people raging. I'm a rage. You're going to hear me rage and you're going to hear me say some stuff that you don't, you wouldn't like me to say. I'm just not playing with y'all. Don't, don't, don't take it there with your boy. Right? I'm cool hey. and I'm nice. But once y'all get to, to sending them messages about, oh yeah, you suck or you're a noob or whatever. Oh, you're going to mm. get that same energy back because I'm willing to give. <laughs> hey, now let me tell you this. One thing one thing that's a trip um, is how intense Twitch and YouTube and all this stuff, the rules are getting. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not, it, it's starting to feel like a way more regulated internet, yeah. which I've always, I've always, you know, we're in the last minutes and this is kind of my little call to action. Um, or maybe it's not a call to action, but whatever. <laughs> um, I feel... Like I'm really holding back, yeah, on Twitch at least when I'm streaming, because I got some crazy ass friends. Like I got some wild ass. Like it is so bad that a lot of them I don't even want to game with while I'm streaming, because I'm like, am I gonna fuck around and piss somebody <laughs> off and they're gonna report me and I'm they're gonna watch my clip and then I'm gonna get banned? Yeah, like I work way too hard for my Twitch <clears throat> to have you don't a even random. Wanna be... And that's why a lot of people what they'll do is they'll play with their friends but keep their friends muted. Yeah, yeah. You could do I, that, or you could, uh, you know, once you get into the game, I warn everybody. I'm like, hey, y'all, as soon as they jump in, I'm streaming. 
And if you don't get what that means, as my homeboy last night knew, I will mute your <laughs> he, ass. He muted him. He came in there talking to you. And as he's talking to you, uh, he, he was like, uh, can anybody hear me? Because I wasn't replying to him. And he yeah. was like, uh, can anybody hear me? And that's when I was like, hey, B, you got this dude muted. <laughs> he hey, tried to talk I, to you. I have no issues. He looked, I will mute your he ass. He turns around and was like, yo, you can hear me? I'm like, yeah, I think he muted you from yesterday. <laughs> yeah. He was on a small band. He knows who he is. <laughs> you like... know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man, because I got to protect what's mine, man. Of course. I worked way too hard. I damn near lost my mind getting to that. Yeah. Like, oh, and somebody brought up a good point for all those people who are Twitch affiliates. I want to, they say something along the lines of there's, it's like 10% or less of people who are on Twitch mm-hmm. are affiliates. Mm. It's not that many people. And I'm like, damn, I feel good about myself. But then I thought about how hard it was to get to Twitch affiliate status. Yeah, it makes sense that everybody's not a Twitch affiliate. Of course. Not, yeah, that shit is real. Like, it's a struggle. Nah, I, I think you're right, man. I just, see me, I I don't play when it comes about it. I want no drama. I don't want no strike. I don't want none of that stuff. Yeah. So let's let me avoid all of this stuff by just doing this. Yeah, and, you know whether I gotta mute you, or I gotta, uh, you know, or I gotta whether I mute you or I let you know and then you come back later because you wanna, you know, and some people mm-hmm. just don't wanna be silenced. Like, don't silence me. Yeah. But at the same yeah. time, this is my realm right here. You, I don't want you. Yeah, this is my world. world. This is my know? this is my universe. Exactly. I don't have to be. Hey, and you know what? Um, for those out there who are getting ready to get started, um. Look at all your options. There's way more options now. There's uh, Mixer. There's Facebook. There's YouTube Live. YouTube Live was always there. But, uh, like, there's way more options than Twitch. I know I'm a Twitch affiliate, but to be honest, I would have held off on being a Twitch affiliate, like, agreeing to it and tried other stuff because now my name as Baron J67 is locked on Twitch. Mm -hmm. I could go under my other stuff and do other ones, which I've thought about running. But um, but as in my Baron J six seven content, that's locked in with Twitch. Of Signed course. a contract and all that other stuff. Yeah. But um, yeah, folks. I mean, this we're kind of wrapping it up. It's getting awkward. <laughs> check all check all our link. Did you have anything else to say? I feel like I actually no, I didn't. I think uh, we we kind of ran off on the tangent with the whole yeah, you know, high bad. school stories and all that. Yeah. But I, I'm I think we hit everything, man. I just would like to call say thank you great. guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys for everybody that tunes in every week and listen to us. Yeah. Even when we ain't on time, you know how it go. But uh, <clears throat> I we I really do appreciate you guys. Serious man, because I I didn't think we'd get the reception we've been getting. I didn't think we they I thought pet project mm-hmm. that we did just for us. And but I to see that. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, but to see that people enjoy it and people actually listen, I really do. I appreciate it. And I'm sorry I cussed so much in this episode. I don't think I cussed this much more. <laughs> That's because you were, we were so uh, animated. Animated, about, yeah. It was really into it. About common sense. Well, co- our yeah. common sense. Yeah, because... Because I agree with you. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> oh. but, all right, man. Hey, much love, everybody. Check out the links below. Shout out to Tone Def Network. Tone. Um, really appreciate you guys, man. Tone, Def Fresh Show, um, all of that good stuff. Oh, whole awkwardly... Whole whole Whitley awkward uh there's a bunch of different shows go check it out um and then uh check subscribe to our individual pages um but really look through the link support us on patreon and we'll get merch one of these days i'm gonna stop being lazy about it i just need to pay money to get a designer all right peace peace